left T I just left Target, picked up some cleaning supplies, just a few items that I was missing. And then I found some clothing items that I'll share with you. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I went to Target and I picked up some items. I actually just went for some like cleaning items for the bathrooms and I just, I got the wrong thing. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna take this back cause this is like Lysol fabric disinfect. I don't want that. I have um, something similar to that, so I don't need that. But I did get the Sprayway Glass Cleaner, and I use it in the car to clean my windows. And I like the smell of it. This one is the lavender scent, so it's good. I like that. I got the Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower. I got the Lysol Mold and Mildew Remover with bleach. Um, just to get in the crack and crevices of these showers. And this Scotch Bright. I just got that and some white towels. I love washing my face and body with um, white towels. So I got it from the brand Room Essentials. They were reasonable. Some Rice Krispies, a, another toilet brush cleaner. I got one from Timu, but I don't know what the heck happened to it. It must have disappeared somewhere. Um, some lactate milk. This is good. You dip it in the milk girl for a snack and I picked up uh, Miss Myers this is the compassion flower this smells really really good I like this so um, I can't wait to use it I got an elf camo elf um, sponge one of my favorites and over here I picked up some tanks some colors that I don't usually um, wear which is this pretty blue for the summer I'm holding my camera so that's why you won't be able to get a good look at it but yeah this is it right here very very pretty okay I got it in a cream it looks kind of white on camera but it is kind of like off white but all of them I got it in a large and then I got my favorite color this pretty green this is another one they were only eight dollars and then from the clearance section let me sit y'all let me sit y'all on this box of rice krispies hold on okay that's better i'm not gonna get in frame because i'm looking crazy but i pictured i picked i pictured i picked up these wild and fable um shorts that you can wear around the house and they were originally 15 dollars on clearance for 10. and this is a cute color to wear around the house i also picked it up in purple which is cute and I've seen this really nice Lakers um, sweatshirt that I can cut the neck off of. It's an extra large. I'm surprised it was still there. But it was only $17.49. Originally $24. So, yep. That's all I got from Target. And I went to, um, I know. I went to uh, White Castles and got me. I wanted to try their breakfast. So that's what I did. And I got my free Caramel Five Pay Extra Ice Drink for. What's up, y'all? It's your girl. I am back. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy Giz. I just got off of work. It's been a long day. I'm glad to be at, off today. I did a casual look today because, um, you know how they go, but this is the outfit of the day. All green. I ain't handle this. I ain't handle this, y'all. But all green. It was kind of cool in the office, so that's why I wore this kind of like. Sweater. It's not a sweater. It's like a. I don't know, girl. Oh, this smells good. It's called Ocean. Fragrance for the car. Girl, I've been at work a long time. From 8 in the morning to 8 at night. No, 5 in the morning until 8 at night. So, let me get. Let me go home. Z house. It's been a long day. I 
I'm not tired at all. I'm just hungry. Yep, your girl is hungry. I don't have anything to talk about, girl. Just get off of work. Still light outside. That's a good thing. Nice out. I think, let me see, it's 68 degrees. I heard it got up to 80. But I can't wait to go home to my clean house. I want some fruit. And I think they ate the watermelon. Okay, y'all, I am rambling, and I know y'all want to hear all of this crazy stuff. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey, beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ready Giz. I know I've been away for a minute, but I just want to come back and show you the outfit of the day. I just got off of work, and I figured why not do a outfit of the day. So, Okay, so today I wore this H&M. I don't like the way this looks. So, okay. So today I wore this H&M top. I told you guys I bought this on clearance and I just left the, the back like hanging like that. And um, this belt is from some pants, some yellow pants. So I figured I was gonna, I was gonna pair it with some shoes that match this. But girl, I couldn't even find shoes this morning. I was in a rush. I don't usually get my clothes ready the night before. I just wake up, take my shower, and start looking for clothes. I know that's not the best way to do things, but I do. But um, and I bought these pants. They're kind of like linen blend from H&M. These pants right here, I love. And let me show you the shoes that I wore today. These shoes were what I wore instead of the like leopard ones. I can find another one. Yeah, and those shoes are from Macy's. And these shoes are from Macy's. They were really uncomfortable today. They're called Sun and Stone. So this will be probably my last time wearing it. I might give these away and find some more shoes. I think I do have some shoes this color, but they're more, to me, I feel like they're more on the casual side. I would have worn these Cole Hans, but it was just, I don't know, it was just too, Casual for me. I wanted something. I don't like the way this button is. Maybe if I had like a, a bigger belt. But I love the pants and everything. I love the look. But these shoes, I didn't want it to go with this. So let me show you how everything looks. Okay, beauty. So this is the outfit of the day. Really casual. So today, so tomorrow's gonna be 84 and the rest of the week is gonna be 60s and 70s. Come on man. But next week it looks like it's gonna be in the 80s. We shall see. I was looking at the forecast on the news. But yeah guys, this is my basic outfit of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna tell you what perfume that um, I was rocking on today. We're gonna sit down in a minute and we'll talk about we're gonna sit down and I will talk to you guys about the perfumes that I um, decided to wear. And plus I have a haul that I wanna share with you all from Dossier, so stay tuned for that. All right, all right beauties, I came back because, make sure y'all straight, because um, the tank tops that I purchased at uh, Target, I didn't get to show y'all. These are, um, this is one of the tank tops. I have it on with a bra that I wouldn't wear it with. I have on one of those just no strap strapless bra but yeah i would wear my t-shirt bra with this so that it'll be seamless but i love the color because i can wear it with like a blazer and maybe some khaki pants and go to work like on dress down friday saturday sunday that kind of thing like on yesterday um yesterday i had on a target sweater i wanted to mention that that green sweater with the pants i got from tj maxx and the shoes are the cole hans i just wore the wore that to get out the house but like I told you guys I'm not gonna try it on all the tank tops but I did pick it up in this real pretty blue and this is supposed to be like a creamy white 
Yep, so I picked that up. And I'm going to try on the Laker. I don't know why I bought Lakers when I'm from Chicago. I should be representing the Bulls. But I do love the color. And I'm going to cut the neck off so that I can have it like on a slanted shoulder. I'm going to show y'all. And you see, I don't like the neck like so. I probably will cut it about here and it'll be like hanging off the shoulder like so yeah I think that that'll look even better but yeah girl this is Lakers it was on clearance it was on clearance so mm, we'll see we'll see oh and then these I'm not gonna show these because I would just find these to wear around the house these um shorts they were $15 but they were on clearance for $10.50 yep so I got purple and yellow and it does match my sweater yep so these were at Target all of the items were at Target so go to your Target and check the clearance section you might find a, a gym let me show you this perfume So the background noise you hear is the forced air. This is the air conditioner because it's kind of um, warm out. But the scent of the day is Floor Marshmallow from Dossier. And it is an inspired scent for Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This is like one of my favorites. I can actually wear it by itself or pair it. If you watch my channel, you already know that this is like one of the fragrances that I love to either pair it with something or wear it by itself. It's a beautiful fragrance. It smells just like the original. I wouldn't lie to you. And I love it. And yeah, girl, this is what I wore today. I put it in my purse. So I'm going to show you the scents that they uh, sent me from Dossier. And this is the box that it comes in. Yes. And this is just iconic scents with designer quality, no markups. And then you get a card that tells you the notes inspired by the concentration and how it works if you want to return it. If you're not truly satisfied with the product, you can just return it for, um, you can get your money back. No questions asked. Okay, the air went off. Good. So the first item or the first fragrance that I'm going to share with you all, or the second fragrance, is Spicy Vanilla. And this is inspired by Tom Ford Noir. And they sent me, oh, I'll use this paper towel. This has nutmeg in it, black pepper, lemongrass. The middle notes has rose, patchouli, orris. The base notes have vanilla, amber, and something I've never heard before. It's called Opopanex. But anyway, this is a Tom Ford Nior. Nior. Audi perfume. We're going to test this out. This smells good. Mmm. This is good. I'm surprised because usually Tom Ford fragrances be like real strong and oh. But oh. I like this. This is like unisex, in my opinion. This oh this oh it's like a spicy vanilla. But the spicy isn't too like you know how some fragrances, if you have sinus problems. You know what I'm talking about. You know how some fragrances make your nose run, or you get a headache, or it just make you feel like you you feel, make you feel nauseous. This doesn't. It smells. It smells really good. I hope it works with my body chemistry. I hope it doesn't turn like old. But we shall see. I love this. This is good so far. I'm liking it. Okay. I'm liking it. So let's move on to the next fragrance. I won't hold you long. I promise you. Just hold out for a minute. While y'all waiting for me to open this box. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. If I'm your girl, hit the like button. If you enjoy this channel, you say you do. Hit the like button. That's that's all. I ain't asking you for no money. Nothing. Okay? Just hit the like button. The next one is called Ambery Tuberose. And this is inspired by Diptyque. It's inspired by Dusan Audi. No, it's inspired by Diptyque. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking too fast. It's been a long day. It's inspired by Diptyque. I'm not going to tell you the notes and all that stuff. You can look that up. But it's the Dusan Audi perfume. Let's see how this is. I'm going to tell you if it's 
not smelling so good. But this is the Ambery Tuberose. This is a little different. This is a little bit more on the mature side. But it doesn't smell bad. I would mix it though. If I was to wear this, I wouldn't wear it alone. I would mix it because, let me see what's in here. Daffodil, okay. Cause I know it has like a musky type of floral scent and I would have to like make it smell even by putting a little sweetness to it. So if I wore this, I would have to wear it with the um, floral marshmallow because it has a little sweetness to it but it's not bad I don't know how um diptyque perfume smell but it doesn't smell bad at all we have Prada Luna Rosa carbon all day toilet and I'm going to take a piece of big towel and smell it it's called Fugir Lavender Oh, this smells good. Off the rip. Smells really, it's wonderful. It's like a crisp, clean, uh, going to the office type of smell. You won't offend anybody. And it's good for people with sinus issues. So I'm, I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking a Tom Ford. I'm liking a Prada. Prada smells really lovely. Louis Vuitton, okay, I got this from my dad because he likes this so much and he goes through it a lot. But I picked up the Louis Vuitton. You can also pick up me and fragrances as well, your brother, your husband. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if I suggest buying your boyfriend. I just I have a problem with buying boyfriends stuff. You know, I, I grew up in a time and an era where you don't buy me and stuff. You know, if you classy, you keep it classy. I know I will get a lot of people hating on me, but I just wasn't that girl that bought me and stuff. Like, I wouldn't go out and buy him expensive things. I remember growing up, my grandmother used to always say, you know, you would ask her, Grandma, what you think I should buy him? She'd say some candy so both of y'all can eat it up, you know, so stuff like that. So I grew up around, you know, my grandmother and my mother, like, buying me and stuff people be they be blowing me because they be buying me and like expensive stuff girl no he is not my husband no no how do i get on this stuff oh because of the because <laughs> of cologne girl no i can't like when i was growing up i didn't I, mean, I probably bought a guy like a shirt mm, maybe some cologne if we kind of like deep in a relationship but I see some people be fine, amen. They be giving them trips and I just, mm -mm. no, I don't think so. I don't think so, girl. They be going all out. I just, I ain't the one. But anyway, that's another topic. Uh, aromatic ginger is what they call it and it's Louis Vuitton. And this one smells so good. So if you are in the market of buying a man some cologne, inexpensive, you still want them to smell good, still want them to smell expensive. Try Dossier, Louis Vuitton, and it's called Le Immensity Audi Parfum. It's the bomb. Hands down. Curl. This smells so good. Okay, and the last item is y'all, we got a candle. I ain't gonna hold you too long because I know y'all got things to do, other people to watch. Dossier sent me a candle. And this candle is ah, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Girl, he sent me a Love Don't Be Shy candle. It does. It smells so pretty. Girl, now I got the candle and I have the fragrance. Okay. Girl, this is good. I like this. I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to light it up a little bit later. Put that on my table. But yeah, guys, and this, uh, let me see something. They didn't put the, okay, it's 14, 0.14 ounce. This candle, this candle is pretty big, in my opinion. It's a nice size. It's a little bit smaller than the Sand and Fox. Well, not really. That's the Sand and Fox 
that you can get like at Marshalls if you're familiar with it. And um, this has a two wick. And yeah, girl, this is the Killing Love Don't Be Shy. And it smells really good. So I suggest you try Kill uh, Dossier's version first before you spend that money. You don't want to commit. And if you don't like it, you can always send it back. I have a coupon code also. So with that being said, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this here vlog. I'll be back because um, I think I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. So, y'all, I will be back. I don't know if I should. I want to um, straighten my hair. But we shall see. Alright, let me get off of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a blessed one.